You're recording. You're recording. Everybody's recording. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Our Wyoming Life. My name is Mike and today we're doing something totally different, something we've never done on the channel before. And I can tell you the whole thing is inspired by videos that my daughter Mackenzie likes to watch. She calls them let's play videos. And basically what they are is videos where you watch somebody play a video game at the same time you watch the screen. So you're watching them and you're watching the screen at the same time. I guess it's more interactive that way. What we're doing is something just a little bit different and we're calling it let's do chores. We're gonna have different segments of this, uh, this type of uh, format. And what I wanted to do was actually walk you through it here and so that we're all on the same page and we all know how this thing works. So <laughs> the basic gist is that you're going to get to go along with me as we do chores. Uh, the chores could vary from day to day and uh, it may be something just as simple as let's go get eggs or it could be something like let's go fix fence or whatever it may be. We're going to start out easy with our very first one and see how things work. We're going to call it let's go do morning chores. Now you're going to come along with me. You're going to see what's happening from my perspective, this camera right here. And even though it's a little lower, you're just, just shorter than I am. You're going to see what's happening. Also, we have another camera that's in front of me the whole time. They're synced together and all this happens in real time. The picture in picture that you see up here, that's the other camera. And that camera will switch back and forth uh, throughout the uh, morning as we go and do chores, giving you a different perspective of what's happening around us. As I get more familiar with this and we see how this works, we can even incorporate the drone into it. And uh, I think that would be a lot of fun. So what I need from you is suggestions of things that you would like to do on the ranch. This is one way that we can bring you directly into the fold. If you want to experience the ranch life, this is about the best way you're gonna be able to do it. You're gonna hear the real audio. You're gonna hear um, whatever I happen to be saying. I am actually mic'd, so this camera is picking up all of the uh, audio. The other camera is just for video, but you won't be able to tell the difference. And you'll be right there with me as we go and do whatever it is that we are gonna do. So for you to help me do this, I need suggestions from you of stuff you'd like to do. Would you like to go fix fence? Would you like to go for a horseback ride? Would you like to um, go drive around the ranch and just check things out? I mean, it's totally up to you. Um, this morning though, I'm taking the wheel and uh, we are gonna do some morning chores. The morning chores are gonna be a little bit uh, not the full experience because I'm still playing around with time on this. Obviously, I could spend hours out here doing stuff and, and you know, nobody wants to sit and watch that. Well, somebody does, but honestly, YouTube doesn't. So uh, this morning, we are going to be kind of doing an abbreviated uh, version of the morning chores. The furnace is going to kick on here, which is going to annoy the crap out of me. So hold on one second. I'm going to go turn down the furnace so that it doesn't come on. There we go, just like that. So um, we are, uh, where was I? Um, yeah, so we're gonna kind of have an abbreviated version. So uh, we are not gonna be dealing with waters today. Um, we have a lot of water around here for the cows and for the steers and horses and all that kind of stuff, uh, goats included. Uh, but on the weekly vlog, which comes out Sunday morning, we're gonna be talking a lot about water. So we have a whole day that's dedicated to water. So I'm gonna skip that in this video so that we can still watch that on Sunday and still be halfway interested in what's going on. So this morning we've got some chores to go do and uh, yeah, we might as well get to it. Grab my sunglasses. We did get a little bit of snow, so um, it's a little bright out there. Sunglasses definitely help with that. Some gloves, a little chilly. All right, let's get going. Every morning starts out like this on the ranch, really. Um, there's always certain things that need to be done. Getting those things done is sometimes uh, easier than said, but uh, this morning we're gonna get her done. We're gonna go out and feed with this tractor. This is our 6420. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and start it up now so that it's up and running um, when we're gonna be hitting the road. Yeah. 
That way it'll be nice and warmed up for us. We're also gonna be using the Hustler feeder. We've got cows over here in the corral. Those will be going to Sturgis next week. They've got plenty of food, so we're okay there. So over the last uh, two days, we've gotten I haven't seen an official snow estimate yet, but I think it's right around four inches or so of snow. Which is nice, we'll take it. It's not the wettest snow in the world, it's actually pretty dry and powdery, but it's okay. Chickens are already out for the day. Need to check their food. We actually need to grab some chicken food and get it over here for them. Looks like their door didn't go up all the way. Oh, I think the batteries died on their door opener, so. Got to come fix that. Cold weather does a number on uh, batteries. I think it's double A's in that thing. So I'll probably have to switch to double A alkaline batteries or whatever the cold weather are, lithium, I don't know, whatever they are. All right, let out goats really quick. Hey guys! Hey goatsies. Hey Jack. Hey Jack. Hi. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, little guys. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. Hi. Oh yeah. I know. I got a new thing on. Okay. We're also gonna grab these guys some uh, some hay and bring that over too. So, you know, you guys gotta stay in. So if you notice this chest mounted camera that I've got on, um, it is kind of awkward to wear <laughs> more than anything. Uh, we tried uh, a couple experiments. We actually tried using a head-mounted camera also, but gosh, what a what a pain that was because you don't realize how much you move your head around. And uh, it practically made me sick just watching the footage of my, you know, swiveling your head and you're constantly looking around and, oh, it's rough. So the chest-mounted camera actually seems to work a little bit better, even though it makes you a little shorter. So we're gonna try to uh, adjust for that as we go. Obviously, when we're driving vehicles, I want you to be able to see over the dash, so. We're getting ready to uh, grab the gator and head across the road, feed the steers their uh, corn, oats, and barley for the morning. We're also gonna feed the chickens and grab some hay for the, uh, for the goats. <clears throat> Temperature wise, it's about 19 degrees out here this morning. The wind chill was about 10. Luckily we don't have a whole lot of wind, so that's a good thing. Oh, 
hopefully you can see over the dash. As we head across the road to take care of the steers. Here come the horses, or at least one of them. This is Bria. Hey Bria, how you doing? How you doing, kiddo? Hi. Where's Hyro? Huh? Where's your buddy? She probably wants food. Maybe we'll give her a little snack this morning. Okay. We're going to duck in here. This is another barn across the road. Grab a couple of buckets. <laughs> and grab some corn, oats, and barley. Now, this stuff um, obviously is what we finish the steers on. It In the cold weather, it sticks. It's got molasses in it, so it tends to kind of stick together. So I do have to kind of chip it out of here. It's just a huge pain in the butt, is what it is. So my hope is, at some point, to actually build a bin that'll hold a couple tons of food and uh, I don't have to mess around with this shovel crap. We're gonna run out really quick and give Bria a little bit. Hey kiddo. Here. Make you happy. There you go. Good girl. Okay, what a pain. <laughs> I 
So normally in the winter time I would get, uh, hey, hi, Hiro. Hiro came to see us. Hey, buddy. Uh, normally in the winter time I'd actually get COB that doesn't have quite as quite as much molasses in it. That would keep it from sticking together in the colder temperatures. Here are our steers. Probably can't see over the fence. There we go. There they are. I can barely see over the fence. I should actually get a step or something over here. Okay, there we go. Steers are fed. Now we're over to uh, food for the goats and food for the chickens really quick. Grab some food for the goats. I don't know why I don't have this bale over there by them. I probably should have. got two buckets with me um, so we're just gonna fill these two buckets up with chicken food put them in their chicken feeders we'll have to come back later today completely refill them
All right. Somebody will probably ask, um, we're not feeding the calves this morning. I've been feeding them out in the lot, but they're not finishing up a whole bale every day. So they've got a little bit of a bale, uh, about a half of a bale left over from, from yesterday. So we don't have to worry about them today. We just have to go out and get the cows fed. Here you go. That's for you. They look at you like that's it. Come on. All right, and then oh yeah, we got chicken food to deal with too. Just grab that here. figure out what I'm gonna do with that chicken door. For right now, anyway. or anything around here. You know, wedge it open. There we go. We'll see how well that works. Come on out, guys. It's okay. There you go. Come on out. Hi, gooses. Okay. <laughs> Back to the shop. We'll grab the tractor. We'll get to feeding. I'm kind of interested to see how this edits out between the two cameras and the two viewpoints, two perspectives. I think it's going to be pretty interesting if I'm able to do this without much editing we should be about 25 minutes into it by now and then we get to go for the fun part which is uh feeding the cows. You know what I really need is a camera that goes right here. 
on my sunglasses. That would be cool. I can't say I really love the chest camera. It always seems like it's uh, it's in the way. You can't do a whole lot of like, you know, close up stuff, but that's okay. This camera set up in here. Whew, nice and toasty warm in here too. Okay. I don't know what kind of view you got there, but hopefully it's decent. thing I have to worry about when doing this is the battery life of cameras cameras are well batteries are notoriously just like we saw in the chicken house like cold weather they don't like it um, our GoPro batteries don't like it either so um, this box right here is actually a battery bank that I'm really hoping is recharging as we're um, as we're as we're recording I'm not really sure if it does or not so same thing with this other camera. This right here is actually a uh, battery bank too. So, all right, I got a bale over here on a trailer, which is gonna make my life a little bit easier. We're gonna go grab it, throw it on the hustler feeder and take it out to feed the cows to start with. They usually get two bales per day, unless it's super cold out. I guess if I put a camera right here, we'd be in the same boat with the, uh, you know, having a camera clamp to my hat or whatever. It would be a, a giant pain. And probably make some people sick. I could try doing one and just seeing if I could remember to keep my head still as possible, but... I don't think I can do that. All right, so we're gonna grab this bale. So the one bad thing about the chest mounted camera is obviously when I turn, you can't see what I'm doing behind me. Maybe we can use this camera for that purpose. You can kind of see what's going on. Easy. All right, jump out really quick and get the net wrap off.
the net wrap tangled up in the blades over here. I usually try to avoid this by keeping the net wrap on this side. There we go. Nice and slick. again. I wouldn't call it one of the most fun parts of my day, but I do every single day get to decide where the cows are going to eat. Um, <laughs> and lately, I've been feeding them right here in what we call the triangle pasture. And this is really just so folks that watch the webcam can see, um, you know, see the cows and, you know, get used to seeing them around their back, obviously, uh, for the winter. But today we're actually going to head up just a little ways farther. I'm going to feed them up by the windbreak that uh, that Jeff and I built this fall. Uh, I'm trying to just show the cows that, hey, there's a windbreak here. So I don't know if it works or not, but we're going to try it. They may not notice. You know it would work with the camera on the hat if I wore a cervical collar, then I couldn't turn my head. I'd have to turn my whole body. That would probably make it a lot better. who wants to wear a cervical collar all day. <laughs> all right, so we're right up here by the windbreak. You can see I fed a little bit up here before, um, but we're gonna give this a try and see if these guys like it.
there it goes. <laughs> All right, so we got one bale out for the cows. Technically, we could be done uh, for the day, but we're actually going to run over to the hay yard and grab uh, three more bales. We're going to take them back to the yard with us so that we have them. Both the cows and the calves have some hay to clean up from yesterday, and that's why I'm only giving them, giving the cows one. Calves don't get any. They're, uh, they really need to get in there and clean, clean up what I gave them yesterday. They're, they're just not quite used to getting fed, I don't think. Obviously, we've had a pretty uh, mild winter so far, so. Uh, you know, temperatures in the 60s and 70s in December is insane. Now it's 20 degrees, but the cows need to get used to it. So we'll let them clean up what they got. But I am going to grab a few bales from the from the hay yard here. Um, that's one thing I do like about the Hustler feeder is not only is it good for feeding, it's also good for moving bales around. So I can carry a bale on the spear, and I can carry two back here. And uh, still work with them pretty easily so we're going to take three bales back to the house and then we'll wrap things up and and uh, hopefully you guys like this be sure to leave a comment let me know what you think if it's uh, if you if you see anywhere uh, where we can make improvements or I guess I can make improvements on how things work if you don't like the chest mount cam maybe you've got a better idea um, feel free to, to to throw your suggestions out there and uh, and we'll see how it goes obviously you know if somebody said, well, just have the drone follow you the whole time, you know, that works except for the battery on the drone only lasts about 20 minutes. So as you can see, this video is probably well over that by now. So that's another good point. Do you want them longer? Do you want them shorter? Should we just uh, make them really simple? Let's go get eggs. Boom. That's it. We're done. Because um, obviously, like I said, I mean, if I just had this on me all day long you could really just watch what I'm doing all day but eventually everybody has to go to the bathroom so we're gonna have a short intermission okay So in order to load bales on the, the Hustler, we have to stack a couple bales, not really stack them, but we have to put them in a row. I'm gonna do that really quick. And those will be the two that we load onto the Hustler feeder. And then we'll carry one on the spear. Ooh, the sun's gonna come out. Super cool. Now, obviously, this video, I'm not putting any music or anything else in. Um, I do believe in the bottom of my heart that everybody deserves a soundtrack, and that's why usually when I am out here doing these chores, um, I've got, you know, music going or I've got a, you know, earbud in and then listening to tunes or whatever. Um, and we'll probably get to that point where you guys will be able to listen to what I listen to. We get some permissions from some, some friends of mine, some artists and stuff. To be able to use their music. And obviously my morning's not done. Um, we, like I said, we skipped waters today because we're going to be touching base on those uh, in the weekly vlog on Sunday. So, um, I still have to go make sure everybody has water and all that good stuff. One of our rules around here is usually um, the cows eat before you eat. And i that's true, I still haven't eaten. Let's 
bail won't let go. Why will not the bail let go? Okay, something goofy going on here. I think I might have grabbed the bale too low or too high or something. Try it again. got two bales on the back I'll jump out really quick so you can see that and then we're gonna grab a bale on the front So there's our bale on the front of the tractor. We've got one bale in the cradle and then another bale on the spear. So we can transport three bales back to the house pretty easily. I think it'll, uh, and it's, you know, it saves, I, well, I don't think, I, it saves us a little bit of time. I do think occasionally it saves us time uh, being able to take some bales back and forth and it is handy to have the bales there waiting for us so I usually like to keep at least one bale at home at all times just in case something happens I need to feed it or um, you know I need to get the cows out of my way or whatever it may be it's nice to have one around So it happens quite often that uh, I'll be filming and neighbors will stop by, they need a favor or they, you know, whatever. Uh, they stop by just to chit chat or friends or family, subscribers, who knows. And uh, I'm just waiting if I'm gonna, if this keeps up and you guys like this format, um, I'm gonna be filming one of these and somebody's gonna show up. <laughs> and it's gonna be slightly awkward. Maybe not awkward, but I'll get a weird look out of them, I'm sure. I was uh, filming for the vlog yesterday, so that would have been Monday, filming for the vlog and uh, taking um, packages to UPS to, to ship beef and stuff like that. And uh, I had a camera going, so I was filming while I was unloading, and I thought I was alone. So I'm unloading the truck, you know, boxes of, of beef and pork, and, and it's after hours at UPS because we, we can't get there um, while they're still open and uh, have stuff shipped and still have it be frozen. So anyway, um, I'm unloading boxes and the gal that works there, she's the, uh, the one of the managers there, I think. Um, she, uh, she comes out and uh, is helping me, you know, um, get the stuff in. Camera's going, battery dies on the camera. So the camera beeps, beep, 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 beep. And you could see her eyes got about this big around. And I kind of forgot that I had the camera there really. And, uh, she says, uh, what was that? And I said, oh, it's actually, it's a camera. And uh, she says, uh, why are you filming me? And so you'd always have to, you know, you gotta, gotta be careful of where you are and, and what you're doing. That's the great thing about being able to film um, this life and the ranch and all this is because I, I got nobody else out here. I don't have to ask the cows permission. They love being on camera. Pigs love it. Goats, eh, not so much. They like to eat cameras, but uh, they, they, they like the cameras fine enough. So I don't ever really have to ask permission to, to, to do this, which is really, um, really nice. Because obviously I had to then ask her permission and 
you know, yes, I'm filming. Um, had to explain, you know, what we do if she's not a subscriber, which she wasn't. Um, she had no idea who we were or what we did. She just knew that we shipped beef every Monday and Tuesday. And uh, so it was kind of interesting just to kind of get her reaction. And, and uh, she seemed fine with it. In fact, she, she told me, she said, I'm going to... I'm gonna go inside and into my office now and, and pull you guys up on the computer and, and watch a little bit. So hopefully uh, we gained another subscriber. I don't even know her name though. I'm gonna to have to find that out next time. And I'll ask her if she subscribed. If she did, then she gets a big old big old uh, shout out from us. So the calves, I don't know if you can see them, but they're down there. Um, they've got hay everywhere in their dang corral, the lot that they're in, and of course they wanna come over and and get the cows hay but they've got at least a day to clean that up so now i can add uh while i'm out doing chores not only do i uh listen to music sometimes and dance and jam and do all that kind of stuff now i can add that i talk to myself so it's okay Mackenzie, our oldest daughter, who actually gave me the idea to do these type of videos um, the other day, she asked me, um, <laughs> she said, Dad, where does the crazy come, come from in our family? And uh, I said, what? And she said, well, we're all a little weird, aren't we? And uh, she said, does it come from, from your side or mom's side of the family? And of course, I had to take credit for it because I wasn't going to throw Aaron under the bus. So... I said it was our. It was. I said it was my side of the family that's that brings the crazy. All right, we're almost back home here. I think I'm actually going to leave the tractor out. I would normally take it back in. Um, get it plugged back in, but I do have some more feeding to do, and maybe I'll throw that in on the, the weekly vlog for today, because um, I do have to go do some stuff across the road. Uh, the horses need a bale. I think the steers need another bale, too. So we're just going to leave the tractor here and head back inside and wrap this thing up. Let's get this all situated here. Nope. There we go. <laughs> oh, alrighty guys. Wow, 52 minutes. Uh, <laughs> I hope you guys were able to stick uh, with me throughout the entire thing. Let me know what you think. Um, I'm going to play around with editing a little bit. I'll see what I can come up with and how I can make this whole thing work. But um, the cameras made it through. I think our batteries might die soon. I'm not sure they're really charging the way they should be. So uh, that'll be another thing we got to figure out with this whole thing. But thank you guys for coming along as, uh, as we go out and do chores. Let's go do chores. If it works, let me know. If there's any chores you would like to see, let me know. And if you have suggestions on how to make it better, of course. Feel free to let me know in the comments below. Check us out online, rwarminglife.com, where you can now buy beef and pork if you are a Patreon supporter. So you can head to Patreon, become a Patreon supporter for as little as $1 per month or $10 per year. And you can go online and order beef, um, pork, and uh, ship directly to your door. And uh, that's really exciting for us. And we thank you guys for, for being here with us and supporting us as, uh, as, we, uh, as we're able to uh, give more to our communities and, and now the entire nation. Thanks, guys. We appreciate it. And we'll see you next time right here on our Wyoming Life. I guess it worked. I don't know.